all right so now in this video i'm going to show you how to record the gta entry and its uh, related entries about which we discussed in the previous video and before we start recording entries we will first verify the amounts which are present in our gst ledgers and in order to check gst related details select the option display over here then select account books and select group summary and type duties and taxes so selecting this uh, group would display all the ledgers which are created under that group so over here we can see that we have input c gst of rupees 1803 rupees and the ledgers sgst and igst are not been displayed because its balance is zero all right so now let's proceed with uh, recording the entries and before we record the entries we will create the required ledgers so select the option accounts info then ledgers and then create i will first create the respective cgst and sgst ledger to record gst liability now i will create a ledger which will be used to record input tax receivable amounts and let me name it as follows and it will be grouped under current assets and save the ledger now let's create a ledger to record transport expense and i will name it as transportation services grouped under indirect expenses and uh, change this option set or alter gst details to yes and provide a description as something like this and its uh, sse code is Double line six five double one, and taxability is taxable, and is reverse charge applicable? Set the option yes so that reverse charge would be calculated. And if you are unable to see the option is reverse charge applicable, press the F twelve key, and make sure that this option enable reverse charge calculation is set to yes, and press Control A. and specify the integrated taxes 5% and save this details by pressing control a and select the type of supply as services and save the ledger creation and now we are required to create a ledger for the transporter which is garuda couriers under sundry creditor and enter some pin code and then specify whether the gta is registered or unregistered so a gta could be registered under gst or could remain unregistered but its service falls under reverse charge mechanism unless he charges gst at 12% so for this example i will select the option unregister and just save the ledger control a All right so now we have the required ledgers created now we will proceed with recording the entry itself so i will select the option accounting vouchers and we need to record purchase of service so i will access the purchase voucher by pressing the f9 key and if you remember at the beginning of the course i told you that there are three modes in which we can record purchase entries one is by means of a journal entry another is in item invoice mode which we used to record purchase of inventory and the third mode which is accounting invoice mode so we are going to use accounting invoice mode to record this purchase so what is the use of accounting invoice mode you will learn in this example so right now i am in the item invoice mode 
to change the mode to accounting invoice mode press alt i so now we are in accounting invoice mode and if you press the alt i key again you will toggle back to the item invoice mode and in order to differentiate between both the modes you can see here the field quantity will be present with item invoice mode but when you toggle back to accounting invoice mode that field will disappear so the field quantity won't be displayed in the accounting invoice mode so in this way you can identify which mode you are in all right so now let's record the entry voucher entry date is 28th of august 2019 and the supplier invoice number which is the consignment note number let's assume it as 1234 and it was issued on the same date as the date of entry in the party account name select the gta which is garuda carriers and just press control a to accept these details now for the particulars field we know that we don't have any stock item for recording transportation charge but if you remember we created a ledger for recording transport expenses called as transportation services we can select that ledger over here so this is the advantage that we get with accounting invoice mode you don't require to create any separate stock item in order to record entry with accounting invoice mode you can just simply select the ledger that you want to take into consideration and this mode accounting invoice mode is usually used by service providers so in order to generate an invoice towards a service we use accounting invoice mode so when you buy a service you create its ledger under indirect expenses and if you are selling a service you create the ledger in indirect incomes and then you record its purchase and sales in accounting invoice mode so we selected the required ledger and enter its amount as rupees 3000 rupees and press the enter key now press alt a in order to view tax analysis so the tax analysis show that the taxable amount is rupees 3000 and 5% of 3000 is rupees 150 and since this transaction is an intrastate transaction because the transporter and the recipient are in same state therefore cgst and sgst has been calculated as rupees 75 respectively and over here there is a short note saying that this amount of tax is subject to reverse charge so by tax analysis you can verify whether the tax is calculated correctly or not and then press the escape key and save this transaction so let's see the impact of this transaction in gstr2 report which is a report for inward supplies which is purchases let me select gstr2 and press the f2 key and specify the period for the month of august so for the return table the entry which we just recorded is participating under b2b unregistered invoices 4b so depending upon the type of transaction the rows over here would get updated So if you have made purchases from a business which is a registered business then all those details would be present over here in case if you are purchasing goods from an unregistered dealer then those details would be present in this row and for nil rated invoices that is exempt from GST those transaction details would be present over here and for this transaction we need to pay rupees 150 under reverse charge basis and over here the same information is provided and this row is under the heading reverse charge liability to be booked which means that we need to book a liability for rupees 150 and on further pressing the enter key 
it will display the transactions for which you need to book liability so right now we have only one transaction and we need to increase our liability towards central tax for rupees 75 and for state tax as well so over here you can see that this is our total liability that we are required to pay and over here under the heading balance liability is the net liability which you are required to pay after paying the total liability for example right now my total liability is 150 rupees out of which if i pay 100 rupees as tax amount then my net balance liability would be 50 rupees so right now i did not pay any of the tax liability amount that is why the balance liability is same as total liability so once if i pay the gst amount of 150 rupees the balance liability fields would disappear and why i am talking about these fields is because so that you can have some basic understanding of what information is contained in each fields so this is not essential the essential part is that you now need to increase tax liability so we have uh, checked the information as to how much liability and for what ledger we need to increase the liability so now we are required to pass an entry to increase our tax liability and in order to record that entry click on the button over here stat adjustment or press alt j and you would be prompted to provide few details now in order to increase tax liability you need to specify the nature of adjustment as increase of tax liability which was selected by default i just press the spacebar key to toggle the list so you can see the other options so by default uh, option increase of tax liability was selected i will and i will keep the same and press the enter key and let the date be 31st of august which is the last date of the month and debit the ledger tax paid on reverse charge mechanism for rupees 150 so why do we need to debit this ledger so understand that when we pay gst under reverse charge mechanism we are required to pay that amount from our bank account at the portal and after making the payment you would be getting input tax credit for the same and any input tax credit is valuable to the business and all input tax credit are asset types and we know that assets increases with a debit so that is why i created this ledger under current assets and since it holds value in the future that is why i am increasing its value by rupees 150 and by rule assets increases with a debit so that is why i debited this ledger and we know that credit increases liability so we are required to increase liability towards sgst and cgst so i will credit those ledgers and in order to differentiate between regular gst ledger and the ledger for reverse charge mechanism i created two different ledgers and specify the rate and the taxable value and enter the appropriate amount for the respective ledgers and save the entry so you can see over here the balance liability is zero now and the liability that we booked has been updated over here and when you press the escape key you can see that uh, under the heading reverse charge liability to be booked is now zero so this was the effect of the entry which we just recorded now the next entry is entry towards payment of gst and in order to record that entry press the escape key and select the option accounting watchers and press the f5 key which is for the payment watcher now at the payment watcher creation press the key alt s and specify the type of payment so i am making this payment for the purpose of gst 
with the period of August and select the payment type as recipient liability and specify the date on which you are making this payment and I will debit the SGST ledger for reverse charge mechanism for rupees 75 and I will also debit the CGST ledger for rupees 75 respectively and I will credit my bank ledger so why I am debiting SGST under RCM and CGST under RCM is because we know that debit decreases liability so I reduce my liability by paying the amount from my bank account and specify the details for bank allocation that I am making this payment through e-fund transfer and save the entry and now we are left with one more entry where we need to increase our input tax credit that we are liable to receive and in order to record that entry press the F7 key and press Alt J and specify the following details select the type of duty as GST nature of adjustment as increase of input tax credit and I am increasing my input tax credit for purchase under reverse charge and specify the date on which you are recording this entry now since we know that input tax credit is an asset to the business and in order to increase my input tax credit for SGST I will debit that ledger for rupees 75 and I will also debit the CGST ledger for rupees 75 and credit the ledger tax paid on RCM for transportation so notice the balance in the respective ledgers so earlier for the ledger SGST there was zero balance so now it is showing a debit balance of 75 uh, which is input tax credit and the ledger CGST is increased by rupees 75 as well and the ledger tax paid on reverse charge mechanism is now zero because I transferred my input tax credit to the given ledgers and save the entry so that was all about recording an entry when you avail service from a GTA and not just GTA any kind of notified service or notified goods like purchase of cashew nuts tobacco leaves when you purchase them you need to record all the given entries which we discussed and to summarize this is a four step process where we first record purchase of services or notified goods then we increase our tax liability and then we make entry towards payment and then we increase our input tax credit